The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. For number seven, we're asked which of the following are correct out of these three. So let's just go through P, Q, and R individually to see if they're correct or incorrect. So P states that we have two over X plus 5 over y equals 7 over x plus y. Okay, so what happened here is they just added the top, the numerators and the denominators and put them together in a new fraction. Unfortunately, that's not what you do with fractions here. If you have different denominators, you have to get a common denominator before adding them. So a common denominator here would have to be multiplying by x and y, and you definitely don't get this. So P is not correct. All right, for Q, we have 3 plus Y to the negative 1 over X equals 3 over XY. OK, so another common mistake here. For this one, this Y to the negative 1 was brought down to the denominator because you have a negative 1 power. This would be true if this was 3 times y to the negative 1, because then you could just move it down. However, this is plus, meaning you have 3 plus 1 over y, and again, to combine those two, you you'd have to get a common denominator. You can't just do this. So q is incorrect. So really, we're testing that you know you need to get a common denominator whenever you add fractions. And finally, letter R. You get that square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to absolute value of x plus absolute value of y. Okay, this is also incorrect because you cannot distribute a root or a power for that matter across addition. So keep in mind, if this were true, you're saying that if I square x plus y, or absolute value of x plus absolute value of y, I would get x squared plus y squared. Well, that's definitely not true. And you can see without even actually doing it, just by setting it up, if you were to square that, you'd have to FOIL it, and you would get middle terms. You wouldn't just get x squared and y squared. So this is definitely incorrect also. So we have answer choice E that none of those P, Q, and R are correct. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.